Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to I'm covering the mic. I'm not used to wearing a microphone. We are here. We're not going to be in this room, as you recognize, over here. We're not going to be in here today. We're going to Austin versus Seattle up in Seattle, so we're about to hit the road. Uh, but yeah, there's a little, I don't know what I'm doing with this vlog, and uh, off to Seattle. Boom, Iron Man poster. But you guys don't really ever see this side. I'm getting a green screen set up here. Um, I have the stuff. I just need to actually do it. I don't know what I'm saying, but uh, let's see when we're in Seattle. So as you see, we stopped our first stop on the way. We're still about two hours away from Seattle. Uh, we stopped at a casino for lunch and also to put some sports bets in. Don't gamble. It's a bad idea. You're going to lose money every time. So we got three bets, three Austin bets and one other bet. So we'll do the other bet first. Uh, we have Dortmund. This is basically a Champions League bet. A what is that? Five leg parlay. Yeah. Uh, Dortmund, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Man City, PSG all to win. Just straight up. That's going to pay out like 200 bucks. Come on. I had one that paid out. Uh, for the first leg, it was a seven leg parlay, would have paid out about 11 grand. And I lost it on the second game. If you are going to gamble, gamble what you know that you can lose, expecting to lose it. That's the safest way to do it. Don't gamble though, but safest way to do it. Then the three Austin bets. Uh, one bet is Diego Rubio to score over two and a half goals and both teams to score. Uh, the other one is both teams to score over two and a half Seattle win. And over two and a half, both teams to score in an Austin win. Basically, every single one of these bets will cover what we put into it if one of them wins. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, so we're about 45 miles, 45 minutes away from Seattle. Uh, and I just wanted to give you guys an update on the, uh, my opinion, because I haven't really talked about it, of the uh, majority of MLS teams not competing in, in U.S. Open Cup and going straight League Cup. I think it's a bad decision. I think you got to keep with the history of the U.S. Open Cup. It's fun. It's It means more. There's more history to it. However, uh, I will still be streaming the League's Cup games uh, here on the channel, but we are not going to be referring to them as League's Cup. They will be the not U.S. Open Cup Cup games. So uh, we're making a stance. I, it's hard for me to really make a stand against League's Cup because I'm not going to games. I'm not buying things. I'm not supporting in that way. So we'll stream them. We're not going to acknowledge what they are. Um, but the other thing I want to talk about, Austin FC has made uh, this morning, signed three Austin FC two players to the main team for kind of spot fillers. Um, Antonio Gomez is one. Valentin Noel is another. And I think mo the most important one for tonight is Salvador Mazzaferro, the uh, center back from Austin FC two. Uh, with both uh, Heinz, Ike, and Leo Weissen and out uh, as of right now. Heinz Ike for non-injury reason. I don't know what that means. Family emergency, something like that, I'm assuming. And then Leo Weissen again out for the injury for about two months. Uh, Sal Mazzaferro probably should get some actual minutes in the next month or so. Uh, so be looking for that. Um, I, I think he might get a little bit of run out tonight. Uh, I think Cascante and Matt Hedges are going to start and probably should start in that center back role. All right, we've gotten to our seats. Uh, these are some pretty good seats. That there's our seats. Lumen Field at night, looking good. I don't. I'm not a huge fan that they close the upper section for Sounders games, but you know. Oh well, we got Austin FC warming up on, out there on this side. Brad Stuver in goal. Bam. 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 All right, underway. Kickoff just happened. Austin's gone right to left in front of me. Down to left to right. Austin in the uh, Dillo pit. Come on. Losing the first ball in the air is not a good sign already. There we go. Good. Come on, Valencia. Okay. Cascante's making a run. Finds Obrien. Good. Early goal. Ah, ball's, no, ball's absolutely nobody. That's just going to sum up. Ah, little fight there. Little, you know, internal fight. But, hey, decent first minute and a half. First corner, 15 minutes in for Seattle, unfortunately. Ball's in. Bounced around in the box. Two Seattle guys on it. Cleared it out. Okay. Uh, it's not fully out yet. Black in. Off ahead. All right. We're safe. Uh, live on another day. Another corner for Seattle. Fans don't like a call. It was pretty clean, easy. No call there on Cascante. Uh, what? Got ten seconds till twenty minutes. Short corner this time. Balls in. Oh, oh, the back post. Over the crossbar. 
the car. Still had it covered anyway, no problems. 25 to go. Third corner for Seattle. I, think, I feel like I'm just talking to you all about corners. Thankfully, we've been able to avoid both of them so far. 25 minutes in. Low. Have a rip and three points. Field goal for Seattle. Seattle should have just scored, as you can probably hear. <laughs> they had three wide open passes. Nobody could just take it. It looked like us. It looked like Austin. And nobody wanted to take an open shot. They had three different guys that could have taken it. Nobody wanted it. Also, if you know, if you've noticed, it started raining. It's also about 38, 40 degrees. Uh, and I'm in a t shirt. I'm cold. Jordan Morris could have just absolutely flicked Stuber. I'm not happy with it. Another corner. That's their, what, fourth corner? Yeah, fourth corner in 30 minutes. So not as bad as last week when we conceded 11 in the first half, but not great. It's Jordan Morris again, which is just insult to injury. Gasconte's there. Balls are straight up. Gasconte again. Balls again straight up. As Emmy, does he have the speed to get there? No, he doesn't either. He doesn't. Knew who's there. Oh, Obrin! Oh, Obrin's there! That's Alex Ring. Still, there's no shot you call that a foul. That's the most percent. That's, that's horrendous. That's awful. The crosses are finding people for that. That's the thing. Their crosses are finding somebody in the box, roughly around the penalty spot. But uh, no, they're looking like us in the final third. <laughs> well, we can't do anything, and, and they can't finish their dinner to, uh, at all. That's like five or six open shots that just aren't being taken. It's just the extra pass situation, just like we have. First offensive real anything for us here. Valencia. Is that Galley on the far side? Cross in. There you go. just gets elbowed off the ball with no any play towards the ball. That ball gets shanked, not even to midfield. Matt Hedges gets, gets no main lane. Casconce gets beat. Galley and Valencia are both there. And it's also great because Casconce is down. Uh, we're screwed at center back for another year. Casconce is on the ground. Uh, stop and play 37 minutes and uh, referee stop play for the injury. It's not good. A few moments later. Before the restart, Cascante comes back in. I was just realized this microphone was not recording anything, so sorry. Again, we ha I don't think we've won a 50 50 ball tonight so far. But good news, Cascante is back and not hurt. So that's a benefit. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Yeah. So uh, this is me editing this video, realizing that all of these clips here that were recorded in the second half don't have any audio. I'm smart. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Microphone died. I turned it off. I don't know what happened. Uh, none of the second half clips had any audio. Uh, three points that I effectively make in the last, you know, in these clips. Um, Josh Wolf needs to be better. Uh, with the attack because it was non-existent. I don't know if that's Josh Wolf. I don't know if that's players, whatever. Uh, I am going to give Josh Wolf a little bit of credit for uh, not playing Owen Wolf today and even waiting till the 86th minute to make a substitution. Uh, problem, uh, general Wa Josh Wolf things, uh, and then also no subs until 65. Not great. Rubio understood why he was going to be off at about 65, but he put in a decent shift. Uh, Obren was good uh, in the little bit of attack that we had. Uh, that is also a penalty on Danny as he's streaking down the left-hand side into the box. Uh, was 60 minutes in, I think is what it was. Um, not even a VAR. Uh, shout out to this fan that was behind me that hopped in the video to attempt to say, yes, that was a penalty, in addition to the fans to my right and also right in front of me. I uh, also thought that should have at least gone to VAR to look at. Um, and then uh, going into that with the referees, again, 
I don't know if this was picked up at all on the streams or if you guys watched it. The last 10 minutes was every single 10 seconds, it seemed like. The referee's blowing the whistle for some reason. I don't know if that's the replacement rest. I don't know if the game was that chippy. It was all on the far side of the field for me. Um, but MLS, fix your shit. Get the referees back. Get, it, get pro referees back in. Make an agreement at least to just attract better referees to the league than, P, than pro uh, at the minimum to get better referees because both pro and whatever replacement refs, they're not great. They're fine at best, which is not good. But fix your shit. I'm going to toss that back to me last night uh, for one more clip. It is now 1.45 in the morning. I've gotten home. I just want to record a little short outro for you guys uh, before I go to sleep. It's 1.45. I've been in the car for about three hours. I'm tired. I haven't looked at any stats or anything like that, but uh, just some quick summary off the top of my head. Uh, backline was fine. Nothing outstanding, nothing poor. Uh, I think Biro is the starting right back without question. Zan's good, but I don't think he's good enough compared to Biro. I think Biro is is better, uh, especially when he came on. Again, uh, he helped the attack a little bit, even though there wasn't really much to help. Um, I, I said it preseason. I said it last season. The uh, Austin's issue is not the back line. Austin's issue is the attack and the fact that I think when we left the stadium, I remember seeing they had 20 shots. We had one. I think is what it was. It's atrocious either way. Um, I think I saw seven or eight corners, 17 fouls to Austin. I haven't looked at any of the stats yet, but it's oh, – there's ways to go for Austin, but I think we're moving in the right direction. Um, I think after last week, we kind of focused on defense, and that was pretty obvious. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know how what you guys thought of the vlog. Um, it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning for me. I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, there will be another one of these for Vancouver. So go down below, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys later. All right, I'm going to bed. Peace.